All right, gonna work on a little uh, water cool breaks here again today, and I think I'm gonna start epoxying it up and start shaping the the cooling chamber here, cooling jacket, whatever you want to call it. All right, what I aim to do, I don't have the head with me. If I had the head, it, it would uh, I could explain it a little better. But this is actually the, the top of the head, and uh, let me get down here. That's about where it belongs. Matter of fact, let me bolt it on. I'll show you exactly what's going on here. Okay, I got that bolt in place there, so that's uh, pretty stable there. But uh, what I want to do is uh, epoxy the sides here and make it the same profile as the head. Meaning, you know the sides and everything, I want everything to match up perfectly. And I'm doing this with my left hand here. This side's pretty close, so this ain't going to take much uh, epoxy at all. This here is only, uh, I only have to add maybe about a sixteenth or so. Sixteenth or an eighth in some areas. And then when it comes around the front here, the front's, the front's perfect, the meat's perfect. So it's just the sides and the back. But this side here, this one's actually off uh, close to a, a quarter. You know, and that's this is the wing. I call it the wing because it, it sort of juts out. And uh, I'm going to have to fill that. But I'm going to have to sort of make like a, a little uh, jig and a rig to... Uh, to hold the epoxy. Well, I think we're going to do this in, in uh, four steps. I'm going to do uh, one side, then the, then the other side, and then the back. That way it's easier to work, and you know you're not messing with a whole lot of goop at one time, and it just makes things a lot easier. So uh, the three sides will be three steps, and then the fourth step will I'll just be uh, probably dressing up the edges and everything. So it, it shouldn't really take too long. But uh, I'm going to simulate the head. And I'll show you, show you why I want to do that. That'll, that'll help me get the profile. So let me, uh, I can actually use the spacer here. And the top of the head. And, uh, like I say, simulate it. So let me do that. Alright. I got this all bolted up and uh, I sort of simulated the head. And that's what it's going to look like. And this is what I'm trying to accomplish here. I don't know if I can do this with my left hand here, but... Uh, you see this? If I if I have them two things there, then I can just uh, use that and use this as a like a spatula, put the epoxy on, and that'll just smooth it out perfectly to where I want it. It'll give me a good base anyway. Let me turn around here, show you on this side. You see that holds it steady, and then. That comes right around, and that comes right, that comes flush with the with the face here. So I'm gonna have to uh, put like a little temporary dam up here. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on its side, mark it on its side here, and uh, fill that in. So uh, I got it all cleaned up. I washed it all down with lacquer thinner. You know, you want to get all the grease off of there, so the epoxy sticks. So let me, uh, I guess, say down here. I was just gonna. Put like a little dam, and uh, that would hold everything in place so it all hardened up. All right, let me clamp that on and uh, get to work. This here, this is only wax paper, so uh, when I take that plate off and everything, it'll pop right off and won't be glued in place. All right, we're all formed up here. I got you in my left hand, so uh, I don't know how this is going to work out, but. Uh, you're just about there. This is just going to give us a base, don't forget. I mean, I'm going to do a little body work afterwards, but, you know, it starts out nothing. And then, come around here. You can see. And I was actually able to uh, make a little form down here, so I could actually do this one edge at the same time. Okay, let's mix up some putty. All right. I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, like I say, it's just a base, and it's uh, going to get uh, reworked later on, but uh, didn't have much left over. You should always have something prepared. 
you know, so if you do have some left over and you, you have something else you want to fix, you should do that. And I did. I had this this flyway here. I was actually going to fill all these fins in and make this uh, one solid flywheel because you don't need the fins anymore. But it wasn't prepared. But the sides here, I was going to fill in too, make it smooth. So I think maybe, maybe I could prepare this just this little groove here and this little groove here so I don't have to waste this uh, this little bit of uh, epoxy already. Alright, it's so the next day. This had time to harden. I guess it's been around uh, 15 hours or so. So we'll, we'll take that apart. But before I put these up on a tripod, I'm also preparing this so when I do have some epoxy left over I can you know just uh, put it in here and not waste it. Yeah. Is everybody's going to worry about the the balance of the flywheel and everything? Is what, what I'm doing? I'm just cleaning it up, and when I put the epoxy on there, it's it's all going to be equal. So this this shouldn't be any balance and problems. I know somebody's going to somebody's going to mention that, so uh, don't worry yourself over it. I, I hardened up nice too. Okay, it's cleaning up nice too. I'm just hitting it with a little baby grinder here. I'll show you after I throw you up on a tripod. Now let's take us apart. Alright, try to keep you in view here. Curious to see how it's turned out myself. Looks pretty good though. Wax paper. See that? Come right away. Even the tape. Didn't even stick the tape. Okay, and then this here is my edge back there. Here you go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm tickled silly with that. That'd be easy. That'd be easy to sand and, and shape and form. Okay, that's our uh, wax paper there. Yeah, it came out great. All right, now I got to do this side. I'm gonna do this side first. I got to plug it away. But uh, that shouldn't be too much trouble. Alright, let me finish uh, sanding up this flywheel and getting that ready in case I have some uh, epoxy left over. I won't be wasting it. All right, it was did, what I did here is uh, I did half of the flywheel and I was able to just uh, very, very lightly touch this and scratch it and get all the, the dirt and, and Give, give a little bit of tooth to the epoxy so I went all the way around there and then came in from this way now what I'm doing is uh, I'm just touching this with the little baby Dremel grinder real easy and it's it's making it rough and it's also cleaning it up so uh, maybe I'll show you a little bit of that See, I'm barely touching it, and uh, the Dremel's hardly uh, moving. Just enough to get off what I need there. All right, then I got another uh, where are you at? I got another tiny little uh, grinder here. I should be able to get the, the inside, the inside of these. So that's working out pretty good. And I'm going to continue on. Just I'm probably just going to do half, just just so I have something I could put the, the waste epoxy on. 
Alright, yeah, I got this cleaned up pretty good. The little Dremel helped a lot. They got in all the nooks and crannies and everything. So I'm happy with it. Yeah, a lot of you guys are wondering why you just cut all the fins off and everything because uh, I think it would look like shit. You know, at least at least with this, you know, you're gonna have a little bevel and come up like that, and it'll uh, give it a little character. And then you also have the the rope starter here. You know, if you didn't have them fins, that rope starter would be sticking out uh, way too far. Look out of place. I'm gonna take a screen off of that rope starter. I probably have one in the shed without one. But uh, yeah, I'm leaving them on there because I th I think it'll look a little better. You know, our engines we build our engines. Not only to run good, but to, to look good, so that's why we're doing that. Plus, this flywheel has the taper and the keyway already in it, you know, or else, uh, you know, you wonder why, why don't you just put a pulley on it or something. You know, this is designed for it. This thing, this thing weighs a good uh, 10 to 12 pounds, so that's why we're going with that. I don't mind uh, spending a half hour cleaning stuff and, and uh, making it look decent. All right. Let's get back to this thing and uh, I'll try and we'll work on this side. Alright, we're all clamped up here, ready to go. Let's get to slopping it up. We got our overflow here for our extra. We're all good to go. Alright, let's go. Alright, we we'll finished playing with that and uh, I'm happy with it. Came up pretty smooth and uh, I think I'll just put it inside now and uh, let it cure. I did have some left over, so I started filling that in. I'm liking the way that looks already, so uh, that's good. Alright, let me throw this inside where it's a little warmer. Alright, this is the next day. This uh, hardened up pretty good. I guess it's been about uh, 22 hours now, so it's uh, cured pretty well. I let me throw you up on a tripod, even though it just came out nice. Let me throw you up on a tripod and uh, we'll take it apart. Alright, try to keep you in frame here. Alright, don't forget this had the wax paper on there. Okay, so it came off pretty good. I right hear it's sticking because it was stuck to the tape, but even then it comes off. This is just a little bit. Uh, Real thin stuff. Hmm. Okay. I'm happy with that. I mean, I'm not happy with that. Considering that's just a a rough uh, rough base there. You're still in still in view there. All right. Let me pull you up. Yeah. I'm not happy with that. Now, all I have to do is uh, the edges and the back here. Oh yeah, we forgot about that. I bolted this on. You guys didn't see me do that. It was just like a little dam. this video and then uh, next time I see you oh, I'll show you do this or not you know that's, I'm just gonna fill that in and square that up so I don't know I guess by next time next time we have it maybe we have the head back and we can finish that and uh, send it out but uh, we'll call this a video for now alrighty enough of this